Hello everybody and welcome back to an aerodynamics tutorial on the T-38 Talon. In this video we're going to be going over taxiing, before takeoff, takeoff, after takeoff, climb, level off, and cruise. Let's go ahead and jump on in. Alright, so we have a pretty noisy aircraft. If you want to shut the canopy, you can do so right here by clicking on the handle. To reopen it, you're going to have to click and hold on the handle. This is to prevent an accidental reopening. Well, let's go ahead and look at our checklist and run down it. Alright, taxiing, taxi lights, I'm gonna set that. Flight instruments, check. Let's go and set some data up. Today I want to be flying runway heading of 131. Set. And taxi checklist complete. Other additional things that we can check is to make sure all of our instruments are how we like them. About two degrees nose down. Altimeter is set. Altimeter is set for this sortie today and everything else is looking good. All right, taxi checklist complete. Let's get a start on the before takeoff checklist. Takeoff data. We're gonna set a refusal speed here. Today we're gonna make that a 138. Now we can see that green marker has been placed on our MFD. Let's go ahead and set our single engine climb out speed. We can make that a 165. So our green and yellow speeds are set. Let's set a bingo of 2200 today for this local sortie. Bingo is set. Cool. We'll take that for now. Takeoff data is updated and reviewed. Battery switch, check on. Flight controls. Free and proper movement. Takeoff trim button. Let's go ahead and press that and set that. All right, takeoff trim is set. Nav aids, UFCP and master mode. We're gonna go and fly runway heading, so we'll just leave that there for today. Position landing lights. We'll turn our positions to bright, and we'll keep our landing light on. Canopy closed and locked, completed. All right, before takeoff checklist complete, let's go ahead and roll out onto the runway. Today we'll be departing off of Laughlin Air Force Base Runway 13 Center. It is primarily used for instrument takeoffs and departures, but we'll use this for our VFR departure today. Okay, pitot heat is on, news wheel steering. Because we're not using the manager, it's always going to be engaged. But if you are using the manager, just make sure you release that nose wheel steering button. We're gonna set our throttles to mill. We're gonna check our EED for rise. Hydraulic, we're gonna check that for rise. Brakes, we're gonna release. Throttles max and climb on out. Quick review, after takeoff, we're gonna do gear up flaps up and I like to turn my landing light off. Just part of habit. All right, let's get on out there.
instruments look good, so let's get on going. If we wanted to use burners, we'd have to use the toggle afterburner key. They would look like this on the outside. There's our refusal speed, single engine climb. Let's go ahead and rotate ourselves up. A little bit late on the rotate for us, but it's okay. All right, climb is initiated. Gear up, flaps up, lights out. accelerate to 330 here and once we're at 330 we're going to go ahead and make a left hand turn there's 330 we're going to go ahead and match that up and climb on out Alright, as we're in the climb here, oxygen, fuel, and cabin pressure. Oxygen is good. Fuel is looking good. Cabin pressure is slowly climbing up. A little bit slow. I'm going to let the nose come on down. Alright, and we'll level off at 7,000 feet. All right, now that we are leveled off, let's go and run our level off checklist. Oxygen systems, fuel balance, cabin pressure, and altimeters. So we're still gonna keep our 2992 set. We're not through the transition altitude. Even if we were, it'd still be that anyway. Everything else is looking standard. So now we'll continue on to our destination.